Hello, my name is Edward from The Percentage Company and today I'm going to walk you through the Percentage app and how to set up the Cloudbeds to QuickBooks automatic interface. The Percentage app is an automated solution to transfer all your daily revenues from Cloudbeds directly to your online accounting system. More information can be found on our website apps.thepercentage.co. First step is to log in. So if you visit our website apps.thepercentage.co, click on the login button. A login will be provided to you by our team once setup has been completed. Once logged in, you'll see on your left hand side there are two menu items. So Cloudbeds and QuickBooks. All the management of the Cloudbeds system is controlled from the Cloudbeds part of the interface on the left hand side and all the QuickBooks part of the system is managed from the QuickBooks side, a button on the side menu. First step is to go to the Cloudbed Setup button. Firstly, you'll see there'll be a red Please Press Connect button. M please make sure that you've logged in in the same browser tab to both your QuickBooks account and your Cloudbed's account. Once you then press the green Connect button, you'll be redirected to an authorization page where it'll give you more details about the, the Percentage app and uh, what information is required in order to connect correctly. Once you've read and reviewed all the details, you can then click on the orange approve button. Once loaded, you'll then see that the status has changed to connected and it shows as well as showing the last updated time and date. The setup from Cloudbeds to the Percentage app is now complete from the Cloudbeds side. Next step is to connect QuickBooks Online to the Percentage app. Once again, we click QuickBooks and visit the Setup button. Once again, we see the red Please Press Connect. If you click on the Connect button, ensuring that you are logged in in a separate tab to the QuickBooks account. You'll be redirected to your authorization page, which you can click on your the relevant account. If you have multiple accounts, there may be uh, more than one option, but please make sure that you're mapping to the right account in QuickBooks for the right hotel. Once that's selected, you then need to connect and approve the, the connection between the two, the QuickBooks and the Percentage Company app. The next step is mapping your Cloudbeds items, services, taxes, etc. to your GL accounts in QuickBooks. So by visiting QuickBooks and then the QuickBooks matching button, you'll then be able to come to this page. First step is to map the balance account. This inform these information are, are all being pulled from QuickBooks, so please make sure that QuickBooks is set up prior to, to taking this step. In, in this case, the balance account would be the guest ledger, and the balance customer would be a hotel guest. The next is mapping your room revenue accounts. So all the room revenue for the, for the day should go to which GL account. In this case, we have accommodation rooms. If you're using classes within QuickBooks, then you should also map the class for the room revenue. Moving down to the, the tabs with the blue items and services, you'll see there are items not selected in red, which is the system is telling you that these, these are not yet mapped. So selecting the first tab, 
For example, sh champagne, Coca-Cola. We map one by one each item to the corresponding GL account in QuickBooks. So the first item is champagne and the CloudBeds item is mapped to an account within QuickBooks. And if necessary, a class is select can be selected also. As you see that as we map each item, they disappear from above in red. And only the unmapped items will show in the drop down from the cloud beds list. Once all items are mapped, you'll see the button will change to green. There's no item unselected at the moment. If the green button does not show, please make sure that all items are fully mapped for each tab. Next, we select the taxes and fees section. At the moment, we're not able to retrieve the tax information from CloudBeds. So in order to get that information, you need to log into your CloudBeds account in the Manage or the Settings section. Go to your Taxes and Fees Setup section and select the name of the each tax in the Code column. You then enter that tax code into the CloudBeds tax fee code. You add a name if, if you would like to call it something different and then you map that relevant tax to the equivalent GL account in QuickBooks Online. The next tab is payments. So for every payment within CloudBeds, please ensure that you map every payment to the equivalent account in QuickBooks Online. And finally, the fourth tab, credit card payment. If, if the, indeed there is, the account type is an accounts receivable payment type, we should always add a vendor. The final tab, credit card payment. Once again, please map each item in red above to its equivalent account within QuickBooks Online. And once again, if it's an accounts receivable type, a vendor is re required by QuickBooks system. Once all items are mapped, once again, the green button will appear above. Once all complete, you can press save and the box will appear telling you that you, all your items have been saved correctly. Once finished, you can then check the, the preview of your journal entry as created by the system, which will summarize all your selected items and services into the various GL accounts. As you can see, we've mapped a few items. It will show the journal date at the top left, your company name at the top, and the journal number, which is made up of the date you can change the date above if you would like to look for a different date. But if you're happy with that, you can then post your journal by entering the, pressing the green button. Alternatively, you can indeed download or print 
these journal entries before they're printed. Manual posting can be made by the system as, as such using the green button but by default the system will post at your scheduled time interval per day. If we want to check that a posting has, journal entry has been made we can log in to QuickBooks Online, go to the journal entry button Click on the clock in the top left corner in order to see the past journal entries. You'll see the most recent is the one we just sent, which is a properly formatted journal entry according to your configuration with a description at the bottom in the memo box about where the, the journal entry came from. If you would like to schedule your journal entry, our system allows you to manually configure the posting time and, and the reporting schedule. So by clicking on QuickBooks and QuickBooks job button, sliding the button to active, you can then schedule the time for the posting to happen. In most cases, we recommend 3 a.m. But it can be done at a different time interval if required. Please note this is based on Indochina time, which is GMT plus seven hours. And the interval is 24 hours between postings. If you'd like to send on a daily basis a journal entry after it's been posted to your accounts department, you can indeed slide that button across and add an email address for your accountant or for yourself or whoever uh, would like to receive a copy of the journal entry. In addition to this, you can also schedule the profit and loss report to be sent from QuickBooks to your selected email address at a scheduled time as often the emailing schedule within QuickBooks, the, the time zones are, are often uh, not ideal depending on the location of your hotel. We recommend posting after the posting time of the system, otherwise you'll receive the report before the information has been posted correctly to QuickBooks Online. Once you're happy with the configuration, you can click Save. 